Listen. You smell something? So a needle put in the thread. Uh that's two quotes from two films. You're welcome to post comments as to what they are. Uh no prize or anything, but yeah, bit of fun in it. In it. <laughs> so um yeah, no going on internet and checking. So because that's cheating. Um I don't know if you'll be able to or not, but if you can, or if it's available, please switch on closed captions, you know, because uh, you know, I'd love to see what YouTube thinks I'm saying. So, a few things I'd like to talk about today, uh, I've written them on the back of my uh, fully sayings list, which is a different video. So, a few things I'd like to talk about. Riots! There's been a few riots up and down the country lately, up and down England. Uh, if you're not aware of what the country means. Um, get so used to talking to English people about it, you know, you start saying up and down the country. You know, it's like up and down England, you know, across England. It was across England, it's never up and down. I don't get it. Um, so yeah, so across England, or up and down England, or, or whatever. Been, we've been having riots, more in particular in London. And, you know, the police have been trying to combat this, and, you know, the government's been talking about it and whatever, and, you know, bunch of bullshit, yap yap about it. And the government have proposed something to deal with the rioters. Because they're not just rioting, they're looting as well. So they smash the place up, then they nick everything. Basically what happens. Now, to deal with the rioters and the looters, the government's on about seizing the assets of the rioters. Now, I think that's a bad idea. Because if you're a rioter, let's say you're a rioter, not a writer, a rioter, you go out and you do riots, and you loot. So you're out, you're in a shop, you're stealing a 50 inch LCD television. You know, a 50-inch look at a term. Uh, and you, you steal that, you know. You don't need it, you don't want it. You just think, I'll steal it just for a laugh. Obviously, people have different real reasons for stealing different things. Maybe you're stealing it because you want to sell it and get some money. Uh, but they're proposing to then take your stuff off you. So to send some bailiffs or whatever down to your house and take some of your stuff. But if they take some of your stuff, aren't you then going to be tempted or prompted to go out and steal replacements of what's been taken from your house? So it's like, let's stop people stealing by stealing their stuff. No, you're just going to make them steal more. That's all you're going to do. Um, so yeah. yeah, so the government's all about doing that. And the government's complaining that we haven't got enough police to deal with this, yet they are cutting the numbers of police across the country. So we're getting less police, and the government's complaining that we haven't got enough police. So it's like, we haven't got enough police at the minute, what should we do? Uh, let's cut the numbers of police. Yeah, then a big riot starts. You go, oh, we haven't got enough police now. Uh, here's my proposal of what the government should do. Uh, they might never see this, you know, they might not take it on board even if they did see it, because I'm just a person with a view, basically. And, you know, here I am, I'm just sat in my bedroom talking about it. I'm not really trying to do anything about it. Uh, but I think they should quickly recruit more policemen, uh, not fire any more policemen, for no reason, you know, stop cutting them down, and um, they should employ tactics and equipment that other police have, uh, like bing bag shotguns, uh, tasers, uh, obviously full light gear, and 
あー知恵が少ないです。But this person has class. It should employ all those things in a taser's best of way. And it, just, and it should allow the police to take the rioters and the looters down without question. Like you're looting, you're under arrest. You know, down the floor, whatever. You know, whatever the police does to arrest you in that sort of situation.、Um, because at the minute they they can't really do fuck all and they're not charging the people for rioting and just giving them back out. So many months of unconditional、uh, conditional bail or something, which means they're still out on the street, they can just go up and do it again. But basically, they're just saying basically you can get away with it. And that's not the message you want to be getting across. The message you want to be getting across is that it's a bad thing to do and you shouldn't be doing it, and this is what's going to happen if you do. So, yeah, they need more police, they need, more, they need better tactics and better equipment to deal with this threat. But it's not really a threat. Yeah, situation or and they're complaining the police actually can't handle it because there aren't enough police and they're not trained to deal with this sort of riot. There are with contained riots but not as widespread as this is. So if they're complaining then they need to bring in the army. I don't know where our army currently is. I think most of us are out in Afghanistan or whatever doing whatever they're doing out there which we shouldn't be over there in the first place. And, you know, they should pull the army in.、Uh, so, yeah, so that's my view on the riots.、Um, Americans. Americans, yes. Little thing about Americans.、Uh, no, I'm not going to say Americans are all dickheads or anything like that. I'm not going to say anything bad about Americans. Because some of my friends are Americans. Some of my YouTube viewers, in fact, a lot of my YouTube viewers are American. So, yeah. And they all seem like nice people to me, so yeah. But、um, I've heard from several people, I don't know if it's true or not,、uh, obviously, my viewers, you can tell me if it's true or not. In certain parts of America, you can't use CCTV as evidence against someone. I don't know if this is true. If it is true, it's bloody stupid. Because what's the point in having the CCTV anyway? You know, CCTV is there to prevent, help prevent crime and help deal with criminals. But if you can't use it as evidence, you know, how are you going to prove that this guy actually stole this or vandalised this or whatever? You know, so if that's true, you know, I think they need to change that. If it, if, like I say, if it is true, it's fucking stupid. Uh, but then again, the way legal systems are working nowadays is about normal, isn't it? I mean, even over here, the legal system is fucking d a d Last but not least, the thing we've got to talk about is Africans. Now, I often keep seeing programs on telly that to do with that,、like, sending money out to Africa because they're starving and, you know. And they show you all the kids that are starving and they're skinny and you can see their rib cages and they look sort of like stoned. And it's like, uh. You know, and they go, just two pounds a month can help this child have a normal life. It makes you think, doesn't it? It doesn't make you think that that happens, it's just fucking stupid.、Uh, but it, well, it does make you think that. But I'm saying, um. Uh, put yourself in, in their situation. Let's say you are an African man or an African woman in one of these specific parts of Africa where you are starving. You've got no money, you, know, you can't afford to get any food, you drink much food, and so like that. You know. So you're starving, and your wife or your husband, depending on what sex you are, is starving.、Um, And you think, we're starving, let's have a child. I mean, yeah, you can argue that you know, condoms cost money, and, which they do. I'm not saying they don't. But I think the price for a pack of condoms over here now is about four quid, and that's just for a pack of two.、Uh, I'm guessing 
guess if you can get more, but less, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, condoms are expensive, you know. But then you just don't have sex then, do you? I mean, there must be other things you can do besides having sex. I mean, you obviously know that you can't afford the condom, so obviously if you have sex, you're going to get pregnant. And they've got a lot of AIDS out there, so they always talk about how they've all got AIDS and whatever. Charities are going, oh yeah, all these girls have all got AIDS. You know. Well, AIDS is spread by sex, which also gives you a child. Two things of which that you really don't want, if you can't afford anything. So, like, you don't, if you don't want to get AIDS, and you don't want to have a kid that you can't feed, don't have sex. There's the answer, right there. Now, I'm not saying Africans are thick because they haven't thought of this. I mean, they probably have thought of it. But, you know, when they really get bored, you need to find things to do. But when I'm bored, I don't try and have sex. When I'm bored, I find other things to do. I mean, we all have our little hobbies and things. I mean, I, even though I'm 23 years old, I have recently made my own longbow. Out of a bamboo stick. Two smaller bamboo sticks, uh, some string, you know, and you know, it's made a bamboo bow, you know, and I fired it in the garden and everything. And, you know, there's always something you can do, you know, there's always something you can piss about with, mess around with, or whatever. I don't get bored one day and go, hmm, I know, I love sex. <laughs> I mean, there are plenty of things you can do instead of having sex, really. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's, there's, there's masturbation, there's mutual masturbation, there's other things you can do in a sexual way that doesn't include having sex. You know? And then there's other things that you can do anyway, like maybe you can fix the roof that you've been meaning to fix for weeks or whatever, you know. I don't know what problems Africans have in their lives and what hobbies they have. But I'm sure they can find other things to do than to have sex, which means that they could get AIDS or they could have a child which they can't afford to feed. I mean I'm all for, you know, giving money to children. And so that's my list of things I want to talk about. And for comments, your views and your opinions or whatever, please feel free to leave a comment, send a message, make a video response or whatever you decide to do. And remember, if you're going to do it, do it outside or something. <laughs> Sorry, I posted that on a, on a video of um, Lancer G1984 and you know, I've been saying it ever since. Yeah. So until next time, keep doing what you do, and yeah, yeah, that was very anticlimactic end, wasn't it? <laughs> see you all later. I won't see you, but you'll see, you are, you know what I mean, fuck it. Um, yeah, so until next time, whatever. I'm confusing myself now. <laughs>